Hello, 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 and welcome back to this IXL. Where'd it go? You can transform CDE under C prime, D prime, E prime by translating it and then performing a dilation centered on the origin, which is right here. So they are similar. Find the translation rule. So first they want a translation, an X direction here, which will be left or right. So notice this is C prime. So we start it here at C and we get to prime. So we got to go left eight units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then up one, two, three, four, five. So this is going to be, um, but left is minus eight. And then up is five, positive. So backwards and then up. Let's demonstrate. Oh, that's not demonstrating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was eight to the left. And then one, two, three, four, five up. Okay. Now we need to dilate. How much? What's the scale factor? Scale factor here. So once it's over there, how much bigger does it need to get? Well, if this is like a slope, we count up one, two, three, up one, two, three, over one, two, three, four, five. But we have to do that twice from here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like the big triangle is twice as big. At least that's the proportion between this little triangle side and the bigger triangle side. Uh, okay, I can do this. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Dilate from a point. Uh, it says, oh, dilate from a point, select object, then center point, then enter factor. Object, boom, center point, the origin, factor times two equals doink. Uh, look, now we have two B primes. We have B prime and B prime one and C prime and C prime. So um, it's hard to tell in GeoGebra, but we got there. So let's take away our little, well, let's take away our big guy. Well, let's, all right. Can't move anything anymore. Doink, see? Doink, doink, doink. This is kind of fun. Cool dilation. Scale factor, two. Submit. No. Oh, you have to type it like that. I get it. Well, I was right. Minus eight plus five. I just didn't type it correctly. Lesson learned. Let's jump a level. Let's jump a level. What if you have a smart score of 65? What do you have to get to? 70? All right. Okay, move E down there, so that's uh, X minus 3, Y minus 7. And then what's the scale factor? Well, once it's down there, it's going to get smaller. -er. How much smaller? -er? Well, we end up with um, up 2 over 2. But the original one had up two over two, up two over two, up two over two. That's three times bigger. The original was three times bigger. So that means the final image is actually one third the size. People say three times smaller, but that's not very mathematical. But it's becoming the mathematical meaning of that phrase is being established slowly over time. Because everybody kind of knows what you mean when you say something's three times smaller. It means it's one third the size. But mathematically, in the past, that actually doesn't check out. There's no such thing as three times smaller but it's starting to be standardized because people love saying it. Okay, we made it to 70. I have a little emblem. Um, 